June 4, 1942. Japanese forces start their operation to occupy Midway Island. A surprise attack was key to the operation's success. However, Commander-in-Chief for Pacific Ocean Areas, Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, began preparations to defend Midway several months previously, basing his decision on intelligence data. While Japanese forces were approaching Midway from the east, two U.S. fleets were heading to their assembly point, Point Luck. On June 4, several minutes before Midway radar alerted of the incoming attack, PBY pilot Lieutenant 80 noticed the Japanese carrier fleet. His message read, Two carriers and battleships bearing 320 degrees, distance 180, course 135, speed 25 knots. Immediately after his message arrived, the U.S. forces started positioning themselves for the attack. Japanese fleet outnumbered the U.S. forces, so fleet commanders Fletcher and Spruance agreed it was crucial to launch an all-out attack as soon as possible.
just luck. Time will tell. Operations for a counter-strike against the enemy had continued on board our four carriers throughout the enemy torpedo attacks. One after another, planes were hoisted from the hangar and quickly arranged on the flight deck. There was no time to lose. At 10.20, Admiral Nagumo gave the order to launch when ready. On Akagi's flight deck, all planes were in position with engines warming up. The big ship began to turn into the wind. Within five minutes, all her planes would be launched. Five minutes. Who would have dreamed that the tide of battle would shift completely in that brief interval of time? Captain Mitsuo Fuchida, IJN Akagi. The ship 